Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking? It's D. About to react to this video by Top 10 Beyond the Screen. This is Top 10 Actors Who Were Cursed After a Movie Role. Bruh, that is very scary. Like, you work on this particular movie that's based on a true story. And you like, okay, I'm in a horror movie. Yeah, this is fake. No big deal. But then it starts to affect you when you get home. Things that actually happen in the movie are happening to you. That is very creepy. I can see that happening. And I'm really excited to watch this video if that's what this is about. So, you know, let's see these actors who were cursed after a movie role as well. Hey, YouTube. I'm your host, Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Our new social media pages are officially linked down below. So make sure you guys go and give us a follow before continuing with this video. Also, hang out with me until the end where I will do some comment shout outs. Today, we are talking about curses. No, not curse words. Like curses that people get after partaking in something bad or creepy. It's often mm. said that actors who've worked on horror films become cursed or haunted themselves. Mm. And while some people don't believe that, there's some that do. Mm. How about we let some of the actors share their own stories with today's list of top 10 actors who were cursed after a movie role. Let's jump in. James Brolin. Yes, it is in fact Josh Brolin's dad, like father, like son. He was actually in one of the most legendary horror film series of all time, the Amityville Horror. Oh, he took on the lead role in the 1979 movie. adaptation, the, but was really hesitant uh, at no, first. No. Apparently, when going for the I'm role, there the was remake. no script to review, so he decided to read the book to get an idea if the project was for him or not. He explained during an interview with the AV Club, and I quote, I was reading this novel at night, and it's two in the morning. Well, I would hang my pants on the door of the bedroom Room, I threw them over the corner of the main door coming into the bedroom and all of a sudden the pants fell off the door and onto the floor. I was at a scary really part of this book so it surprised me. I started laughing and after I recovered I thought I've got to do this movie and so he did. However he later explained that things were never the same after being a part of the movie. Mm. He said the objects around his house continued to move on their own and he doesn't feel that it's a coincidence but that some of the hauntings have actually stayed with him. I don't know if any paycheck is worth that I would not be okay with that. Yeah, Amity Bill Horror is really Formiga. The actress plays the paranormal investigator Lorraine Warren in the horror movie series The Conjuring. After watching her performance, we would never know that the actress had a difficult time during filming and actually suffers like from it too. still. The Conjuring was released back in 2013 and is based on the real life haunting of the Perrin family. The actress says she felt uneasy about taking the job and filming the movie altogether, but when she did, she refused to bring home her script from the set. She reported that she had this fear that it would cast bad energy into her house. However, she claims that it didn't work. She tells a story during an interview saying that one night she opened her laptop and noticed three slashes across the screen, almost like a claw mark without any explanation. If that wasn't scary enough, she said the first day after she finished shooting, she returned home to New York where she woke up with the same marking on her thigh. She oh, said no. it was these was three like, very distinct, what looks like claw marks that long nails or long fingertips could make. There's clear evidence evidence of some strangeness that occurred. My husband did not do that to me. I did not scratch some mosquito bite. It's inexplicable. We know she's not lying because during filming, the real Perrin family visited the set. After their day on set, Carolyn Perrin reported that she was pushed to the ground once she returned home. She said she felt like something from set had come home with her. Mm -hmm. Actress Vera Farmiga seems to have brought something with her too, some sort of cursed energy. Oh, Coming in at number eight is Linda Blair, the 13-year-old actress at the time who took on the role of Reagan in one of the most iconic horror films to this day, The Exorcist. There has been controversy since the film's release back in 1973 regarding if the film is actually haunted and has an evil curse. For starters, a fire broke out on set and burnt down the entire set of Reagan's household. However, her bedroom was the one thing that didn't catch flames. The cast was so shaken to the core, believing that demons had possessed the house, that they had a real pastor exercise the new set before they began filming again. Mm, Things were so especially scary. bad for Actress Linda Blair, who had to film a horrific possession scene. While filming the scene, she reported that she was thrown intense. out of the bed and onto the floor, causing her to injure her back. Once filming was over, religious officials believed the young girl had actually become possessed and suggested she go to a real exorcism. Oh. The exorcist curse is nothing to mess around with. After right? the release of 
the film, a total of uh -uh. eight deaths occurred, actors and production that were all a part of the movie. Linda Blair remembers it as a difficult time of her life oh, and doesn't really enjoy uh. speaking about it. What do you guys think? Oh, do you think the exorcist curse is a real thing or is yes. all of this just a coincidence? Oh, Take your number seven spot is Jennifer Carpenter, also known as Emily Rose from the horror movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Just hearing the title, we know that this role would be a hard one to play. Although the actress did enjoy taking on the role, she told Dread Central that while filming the religious horror movie, strange things started happening to her after hours. She said she does believe there was some sort of negative energy or spirit that was attached to the film. She said that one particular thing kept happening and it was her radio would turn on by itself in the middle of the night. Why it was especially scary was because it happened around 3 a.m., which is a significant time that's in the movie and mm. said to be the devil's hour. Mm. She explained that one time it was so scary because her radio turned on blasting the song Alive by Pearl Jam really loud. Other co-stars admitted that their televisions and radios would also turn on at 3 a.m. each night. So the haunted curse was on to more than just Jennifer Carpenter. In at number six is Jill no, Beth Williams. Please. The actress took on the motherly role in the 1982 horror classic film The Poltergeist. A variety of terrifying things were reported happening on this set, but one thing that left Jill Beth Williams in shock was her skeleton scene. She expresses in interviews that Steven Spielberg, the writer and producer, insisted on using real human skeletal remains as props for the movie. The actress felt that these skulls may have spirits that remained with her even outside of the set. She admitted during an interview that she that thinks she was haunted wild. afterwards by a spirit you and think? that she noticed things moving on their own throughout her house. Real fucking While dead filming, people? The real dead? The in LA since she wasn't from there and said the dead pictures on her real slanted and crooked when she got home from set. She said she would fix them every day and make them straight, but every day they would still move. She's not the only one who experienced a curse from the movie, so I can't imagine that she's making anything up. That way through our list at number five is Isabel Ajani. The actress won a Caesar Award for her uh -uh. performance in the movie Possession, but the actress says the intense physical and emotional demands of the role were difficult to come back from. The movie came out in 1981 and is known to be one of the most horrifying and shocking films. Mm. The actress told a French magazine that it took her years of therapy to get her possessed character Anna out of her system. She said she suffered from a variety of mental illness elements after shooting the movie and said she would never attempt another movie role like it. Sources around her were convinced that she was in fact possessed even after the filming stopped. Mm. You know there's something wrong when you have to go through years of therapy after shooting a movie. Mm -mm. Maybe I don't want to be an actress. Mm -mm. In at number four is Patrick Wilson, the actor who played Ed Warren in The Conjuring Conjure. alongside Vera Farmiga who played his wife. We already heard her side of the story, but turns out Patrick Wilson also felt cursed after being involved in the movie. Oh, he opened up during an interview and explained that he began to realize weird things happening while filming the second film in 2016. One particular incident that happened on set was so disturbing that they brought a priest to bless the set before they continued to film. I would he not told Metro continue. it was a huge curtain that went from the floor to the ceiling, which was sort of waving violently and there was no door or fan on. No, nothing. That was a very, very odd occurrence because nothing else was moving around it and nothing was blowing. You didn't even hear any air, but you watched these curtains sort of violently going. The actor also admitted he has always been a skeptic when it comes to supernatural elements, but after the second film, he said he believes his own house was haunted. During an interview with The Independent, he said, I've heard people on two different occasions say they've heard kids' laughter in the middle of the night in my house. Oh, hell no. Haunted little kids are like my biggest fear. I always Me feel too. that like, when little kids are in scary movies, it is 10 times scarier. Yes. Like, All right, guys, our list continues with number three with Dominique Dang. Dunn. She was also another actress who had the poltergeist curse, but one that is far more serious than one could imagine. One story from the film set is famously known, and it's the story of Oliver Robbins, who nearly died on set when he was choked by the arms of an evil puppet. Like, no exaggeration, what? Steven Spielberg admitted he had to actually save the actor from the doll. This is why it was an even bigger shock when actress Dominique Dunn was murdered not too long after the release of the film. The most disturbing part was that she was strangled to death by her ex-boyfriend. People believe that this was no coincidence and that the film was actually cursed. Her role in the movie was the haunted family's teenage daughter, which led people to believe she was actually cursed and didn't even know it. Not only her, but a few years after the release, her co-star Heaven O'Rourke also died at a young age of 13 years old. Oh, I don't know about you guys, no. but this whole poltergeist curse thing seems no, pretty legit to me. Taking over the number two spot is Vic Morrow from the movie The Twilight Zone. The actor tragically died while filming 
only scene for the movie, and some believe it was because the movie was cursed. His death was caught on tape since they were filming, and because of how it happened, people think it was too much of a coincidence to just be a freak accident. Uh -uh. The actor died because a helicopter that was flying above him in the scene came crashing down due to an explosion and landed directly on top of him. The worst part about it was that he was carrying two child actors in his arms, Aww. a six-year-old and a seven-year-old. The death was so horrific that it broke news and caused a lot of controversy. One child was crushed to death while the other one was decapitated. And the co-director, special effects coordinator, and the pilot were all charged with manslaughter. The court spoke on the child labor laws that were broken at the time. The laws don't allow kids to work at night or anywhere near explosives. Oh. According to the New York Times, the father of one of the child that actors testified that he wasn't told there would be pyrotechnics or a low flying helicopter. Some you knew your son was wasn't at home now. Fuck out of here. Accident, while others thought the movie, which focused on scary subjects, is what cursed the scene. In our number one mm. spot is Gregory Peck, the star actor of the horror film The Omen. Everyone who worked on the film reported that the set was 100% haunted by demons because the subject of the film was all about the Antichrist. The actor explains that he felt like he was cursed because when he was on a plane ride with the screenwriter, they were struck by lightning, which would seem like a one in a million chance, right? Wrong. Not too long after, Harvey Bernhardt, the producer, was nearly struck by lightning while visiting Rome. They all admitted their feelings that people involved in the film were cursed by the evil spirits it involved. The most tragic event that convinced the actor this curse was in fact true was the car accident that killed the special effects director, John Richardson, and his mm. assistant, Liz Moore. Liz was decapitated in the crash, which oh. was the eeriest part because the accident actually occurred on Friday the 13th and is almost identical to the movie's most violent scene where a man gets decapitated by a vehicle. Coincidence? I think not. However, let me know down in the comments fuck out of here i quit i quit i quit i quit if i'm on set and weird shit is happening or i'm going home and i feel like it's cursed all of a sudden because i'm working on this horror movie i quit i don't care about my status in hollywood i don't care about no paycheck i quit <laughs> what's wrong with these people that keeping this shit up no after i find that out i'm i'm gone i'm not continuing this talking about oh they have to have a priest come on set to bless it no i'm done with this shit is done I believe this 1,000%, 1,000%. And there's too many people out here who don't be believing in, you know, the supernatural and demons and shit. Oh, shit, spangin', spangin', fake. And tell some shit happened to you, and then you should. Look at that one dude. He said he was always a skeptic, but then, you know, shit started happening to him. And he like, oh, shit, this is real. And now look at you. Look at you. These movies are based on real stories. Real events that occurred and y'all thought y'all could play in the movie and everything would be sweet. No, these demons is like, oh, bitch, y'all trying to mock this shit. We coming for y'all ass too. <laughs> this was crazy. This was a very enjoyable video because I love horror movies. Like, even though I'm the scariest person ever, I'm like super scared and paranoid. <laughs> but I still like love these horror movies. So I've seen most of these. Um, so it's just crazy that they actually were cursed after they you know did this movie i definitely heard that about um what movie was that was it amityville horror um it wasn't the old one though like they showed it was like the newer one because that's the one that i saw i think that guy said he was cursed as well i think he said that he started hearing voices after he you know played that role um or something like that i don't know or maybe it was a different movie i don't remember but this shit, this shit ain't no joke. Y'all keep acting like it is all you want to, but this shit, this shit is real. Anyway, I love this video. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!